Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy with another quick tutorial. Smart folders are also one of the ways how you can organize things up. And it's simple to work with them. I will show you how to do that. Open Finder on the place where you want to perform a search. Here I am in my documents folder. Now I will select file and new smart folder. Note that it doesn't have any keyboard shortcut, so you either need to go up here or you can create your own custom keyboard shortcut. I have a separate video about it, so check it out if you need it. Now I'm going to search for the word test and select name matches test and also limit the search only in the documents folder. And I can also set another criteria, like type of the file, for the documents only. I can see the results there. Now I can hit the save button and it will allow me to save this as a saved search, also known as a smart folder. I can name it as I wish and save it where I want. But I also have the option to save it in its default folder under the library. This way I can't access that smart folder itself, but I can put it in the finder sidebar instead and not worry about the physical folder at all. But this time let's save it to the desktop because I want to work with this folder. Maybe put it in the dock or somewhere else in the finder. It takes less than a minute, that's how simple it is to create a smart folder. But now you might be asking, what is the advantage of having these smart folders? If you can actually organize files yourself in a normal folder. These smart folders create another way for you to view files that have something in common. The important thing to realize is that these results are updated automatically. Adding a new file or renaming a file that includes the word test in it will put it here in this folder as well, where I can see it immediately. The files aren't actually here, this is just like a search. Each of the files are still in the original folder, where they were located before. This is just another way to view it. So if you delete this folder, it doesn't mean that it will delete the files in it. When you're creating the smart folder, you can really go a lot more complex with your search terms. You can also hit the plus button while searching and filter by type like we did before. You can select last created or open date, select specific category, size and so much more. And you can also hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this kind of videos. I am Luke and I will see you again.